as far as the exterior gas tanks go on the side. We're going to go to the back. Back, you simply just pull this up, push it down. You're going to want to grab this little knob here, push it with your finger, and it's going to go down for you. Same thing on this side. And that little headrest just pops down once you get to a certain limit, just falls down like that. Here goes attaches to this side, and you have a little link right here where it goes, and then you attach that same side of it. on your spare tire. You're just going to simply lift this up right here. Actually, this vehicle comes with a privacy cover, which is that long one right there. Here are your tools, and to simply lower your spare tire, you're going to use that guy right there. Pop this lid right here and that's going to be lowering your tire. Jack is right behind here. It's going to be right there. When you open it. Perfect. So all we're going to do right now is go ahead and shut it. All you can do is just press this simple button right there and that'll take care of that. Now follow me to the interior. Pop this open. Awesome. So on this hand side right here, this one's pretty basic. For your mirrors left right adjust it right there we're going to go to the seat right after this is going to be your lumbar support right here your back tilt up down pretty much all those nice features right there for your commodity of the seat i'm going to jump in the vehicle so right here these are your automatic high beams so automatic high beams all you have to do is simply turn them on right there let's say let's do an automatic for this review we're gonna push it back it's gonna give you your high beams and then you just make sure that light is on it'll automatically turn on your high beams and your low beams based on if it detects headlights or tail lights in dark roads perfect this is gonna be your automatic lift gate so you can do it from here the control or just push the button in the back of the tailgate perfect you do have a little gas button right here. This is gonna open your gas cap. And then this is gonna be for your hood. This little extra compartment on the side. And you wanna add some things in there. Uh, you have your odometer and your dimming lights for your actual cluster that's right here. Perfect. Moving on to your side lighting. So lighting is automatic. It does come with the fog lights, which I just turned on there for you. You could just leave those on. Go into the remote. You will have right here the voice commands. Volume up, volume down. And these arrows right here will be controlling your cluster. So if you can see, this is your back button right here. You simply go back. You see how that went back right there. And then if you do left and right, it'll show you different features that it can do or show you based on where you're going. So right is gonna be on the features within that same category. You go down, and if not, you can see, I'm gonna zoom in. You have your settings, vehicle information, music, trip control, fuel economy, and your warning. So if doors are open, seat bills are not installed, that's where you will see that. It will give you a message to print on your seat belt. Okay, perfect, zoom back out. On the right hand side, you do have your cruise control. This cruise control, all you have to do is click on it. It's gonna give you that message, radar cruise active. All you have to do, let's pretend you're going 50 miles per hour right now. You're gonna set it. Let's say you gotta cancel it, reset it. So let's say you turn it on, you put set in 50 miles per hour, and then we're gonna go to this button right here. So that button right here will show you three different lines, those that are moving. So the more lines there is, the longer the distance from the car in front of you on the highway. Uh, the vehicle will automatically decelerate and accelerate for you. Just to give you that optimal space, it will alert you just this way you feel comfortable trusting it. Perfect. So that is this portion right here. To simply turn it off, you just press right there. Going back here, mode is gonna be your AM, FM, XM radio. So you just simply go through there. Forward track and your back track. Perfect, so that covers this section right here. Please let me know if you have any other questions regarding that. So I'm gonna end this video here and start a brand new one. 
Okay, guys, I'm back with another one. So here we go. So we're going to explain this bottom portion right here. This one's going to be for your automatic shutoff. So the vehicle, once you come to a stop, will automatically turn off. If you don't like that feature, that's the button to turn it off. Downhill descend. This is something to use when you're in a really steep hill that you don't want to be riding your brakes. You simply just press this guy right here, and it's going to be helping you go down that hill at an ease. Snow will automatically help you guys optimize that weather condition so it's going to drive a lot smoother in the snow letting it know what type of terrain you're in uh, this one right here is going to be your traction control traction control i wouldn't recommend you guys messing with this particular one because you guys of course want the full traction for the vehicle at all times your hold is going to be let's pretend you guys are in a line in starbucks you guys simply you know don't want to press the brake all the time or go to park and drive so all you gotta do is you keep it in drive. You're gonna press this button while pressing the brake and it's gonna hold your gear in place. Parking brake, all you have to do to release and engage is simply just press your brake and then just push down and you're gonna hear the noise in the back and the light will turn off. To do it the other way, you just push it up. It's gonna turn it on for you and you're done. Um, it does also do it when you go into drive and park. It'll do it automatically for you. Right down here we have Eco, Normal, and Sport. These modes, you can all use them on the go. Eco, of course, is going to give you better fuel economy. Not as much responsiveness because we're trying to maximize your fuel economy, of course. Normal. And then you have the Sport, which is going to give you that nice peppy feel. So very responsive, really good pickup. So we're gonna push to normal. And then on here, if you can see, we have our rock, which you simply turn right the knob. It's gonna give you different settings here because we're in a different type of terrain. And now we're gonna go to mud and sand, which is simply just turning to the left. Um, all these modes are great depending on, you know, what it says on there. We're just gonna put push to normal. We're all set there. You do also have a two chargers, two USB-Cs, and then your projected path, which I'll show you further on how that works. You do have a charger, charger right here, and then you do have an entrance right here, so you can just put your cable down through there, connect it there, and you can just place your phone on this little pocket here. You do have a wireless charging pad equipped with this vehicle too. Just make sure this little light is on, and you're good to put your phone on there. You can close this tray with your phone down there, no problems. And then right here you have the cover-ups for the rails. And then right here you have a little extra cubby and some storage compartment. I'm gonna close this up. On the infotainment system, we're gonna have home menu, audio map, and then we have the seek, track, phone, and apps on the other side. When you press home, this is the screen you're going to have. So it's going to be your audio, your contacts, and we're going to have the navigation. When you go into menu, these are your options that you have. So mainly biggest ones are audio, phone, and your projection. Um, when you press menu, which is what we're on right now, these two and these two are shown right here. So these are just the shortcuts. So you don't have to go to menu and choose on the screen every single time. You do have your volume, and if you press it, it mutes, and then your scroll and tune. Right here, we do have our individual heated seats. It's always gonna start in the longest setting, so that's right there's the warmest, mid, and then the one. So the one is gonna be the one that less heats up the seat. You do have that also on the other side. You have to turn off your air, front defroster, rear defroster, and mirrors, and this is going to be your wiper blade defroster. On here, this is going to be your speeds, this is where you want it to go, and this is going to be your temperature gauge for the rear. If you see this one right here says low, and that's going to be one temperature, and if you see this one doesn't move at all, so you can have two temperatures while in the vehicle at the same time. Right here, so you can control the rear passengers climate control this is to turn it off on the rear right here is to cancel any outside air and this is 
spore recirculation on the air. Um, if you have any questions based on this, please let me know or consult the manual. Right over here, we do have your three garage door openers and an auto dimming that is on right now. I am gonna turn on your light for the doors. These are individual lighting, so if you can see that turns one, the other one turns the other side, and if you go here, all of them turn on. SOS is gonna be for your safety roadside assistance. And then you do have your other two features, which is gonna be tilt on your sunroof and open on the other end. Um, that should cover mostly the front end of the vehicle. There's your manuals and everything. And here is your JBL sound system, as well as your infotainment system with the JBL. Let's go real quick to the back. Don't wanna make this video too, too long, but I wanna make it informative, so. Here is the blinds, so just make sure you're putting them in through those little two knots. And there you go, what a beauty. We go back in here. This is gonna be your climate control for the back seats, so for your passengers. This is gonna to be to bump up the speed, turn it off, put it to your desired setting, automatic temperature, and this is gonna be if you want heat or cold bottom you do have two chargers as i did mention you have two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen cup holders in this vehicle on the bottom here make sure you pull this is number one as you can see right there you're going to have a number two to put it down and this one right here to move back and forth that's going to be working for both of them this is also a number one if you want to use it instead of bottom one. Well, I hope, guys, this is a great video for you guys if you have any questions. But congratulations, here is your video.